There are two potential scents that you put off to would-be predators who are not simply looking for prey, they're looking for the easiest prey. One is disorientation, the other is distraction. What do I mean by disorientation? So do you remember when you showed up work today, where did you park? Don't recall? That's what we're talking about. If you're the person going through the parking lot or parking garage going beep, 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 or looking over to try to figure out where you parked, that's a point of disorientation. That's a scent that predators pick up on. The, oh, this person's not sure where they're at. Oh, maybe they need some potential help and they don't intend to really give you that help. Another potential scent is distraction. Hmm, I wonder what could distract us nowadays. Maybe those things that we carry around in our hand that we're constantly staring at rather than paying attention to what's going on around us. Decades ago, when I first began this work, my biggest challenge was telling people, look around you. Now, I'd sell if they just look up. Distractions can come in many forms, misdirection, but also simply when we allow ourselves to be distracted. Pay attention when you're traversing areas and transitioning from building to car, car to building, building to building, that is not the time to be on your phone. You can check the messages, the tweets, the, the voicemails, all those things later. Pay attention to what and who is around you in those given moments of transition. Remember, disorientation and distraction are two potential scents that you put out. Make sure you negate those scents in the minds and in the noses even of would-be predators. This is Jeff McKissick on behalf of Fill in the Blank Management Company teaching you how to spot trouble before trouble spots you.